The world's biggest machine to recreate the conditions of the Big Bang. This detector is to show how energy became matter in experiments deep below the Earth. Science fiction has become reality. What we're trying to do here is trying to understand the universe, understand why it is the way it is. For example, we have no real idea of why we're here at all, why we have any substance to us, so I can feel I'm a, a solid object. But the, our mathematical theories tell us that that shouldn't actually be the case. But those mathematical theories may tumble once scientists manage to smash particles together at the speed of light. Then they'll examine the debris, hoping to find the smallest building blocks that make up the universe. Collisions at these energies go on all the time in the universe around us, in the sun for example, but we haven't produced them in a controlled manner in a laboratory before, and that's what we're doing here. The laboratory is this tunnel, 27 kilometers long, running under Swiss and French territory. Over a thousand giant magnets were put in to boost particle speed. But just after its opening, everything went drastically wrong, forcing a complete shutdown for many months. An electrical connection between magnets uh, failed. And it was a short circuit which sparked off uh, a series of secondary events which actually created quite a lot of damage. The 2,500 scientists working here are impatient to resume their quest for the secret of the universe, a quest which some have seen in religious terms, but that doesn't cut much ice here. It's not like, you know, sort of God will appear in, a, in our detectors. That's, uh, that's, that's not how it works, you know, sort of. We smash things together and suddenly, <laughs> hello. Yes, you, you, you found me. Um, well done. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not like that. Probably not, but this huge research centre could rewrite the science books. And for many, that's as close to the divine as we'll ever get.